This is Keepsakes, the podcast. I'm Jay Agonoy. It's the 79th episode of the podcast. And again, thank you very much for listening and watching wherever you may be, wherever, whichever platform you're listening or watching to. On this episode, we're going to talk about the, of course, this is still a currently trending topic with the end of kiss anime where will people go and what could be the fate of all those who are watching online when this happens so on this episode i have three guests with me so we'll proceed right there all right guys yeah, so we have here more guests we have here on my left is Tony Medina of Chisu Studio, cosplay photographer, also an avid anime fan. Below me is Marlo Barcelano of Anime Corner, the Anime Corner, the main one. And on below me, Sigova as well, on the left, is uh, one of uh, our consultants sa keepsakes. His name is Kutsu. We'll call him Kutsu. Good evening. Right. right, so let's start with the main topic. Ano? Okay, so nasara na yung kiss anime. Yung manga mura na, ano na, na nasara na rin. Naresto na yung alleged owner. Dito pa sa Pilipinas. Right, I'll start with Donnie. How, how, ano, how are, what's your take on the whole kiss anime shutdown? Actually, matagal na yung ano, eh, kiss anime. Ilang beses na sila nagpalit, di ba? From .com, hmm. tapos naging .org, tapos naging .ru, tapos naging nagkaroon ng dot some somewhere somewhere so palipat-lipat na sila ng servers so mm. ma take natin doon na parang sobrang tagal na tagal na silang hinahunting noon na i-shutdown mm. so it doesn't come as a sur- as a surprise now para sa akin na one of these days mag shutdown tong kiss anime at hindi na siya makakalipat kung saan man Mm-mm. parang um, word sabi natin just parang dumi no mga Oo, kasi di ba ang huling balita is that, okay, kiss anime, yung servers namin ay nasara na. So, done for na. Even if we change domain addresses or IP addresses, as long as hindi na kami makakonek sa server, dahil wala na kaming server, out na. Wala na. Finish na. Kasi kahit ilipat nila yung servers nila sa ibang bansa, pagka inilaunch ulit nila yan as kiss anime, that something kung saan bansa sila, mahuhuli na naman sila eh. They, lalo na yung, yung ano ngayon, sobrang active nila sa crackdown niyan Mm-mm. ng mga, ano, mga illegal anime sites. Kasi, eh, alam ko kasi by January next year, Mm-mm. magtitake into effect na yung law na pinas sa Japan last June. So, they're laying the foundations now as a warning pagka nag-take effect na yun. Mm-mm. And in that sense, ano, it's not just kiss anime, also kiss manga, ano pa bang mga sites? Oh, lahat. Lahat ng kiss. Lahat ng kiss. Oh, uh, kung may kiss games man, kiss hmm. something, hmm. lahat yan. As long as, hindi, as long as pirated content sila, illegal, without consent ng mga may-ari, ng copyright, hmm. o kung intellectual property, de, hahabulin talaga sila hmm. until they shut down. Mm-mm. Hanggang sa merong uh, criminal penalty sa kanila na i-charge. Uh-uh. So, you know, prior to all of this kiss anime, kiss manga shutdown, ABS-CBN already had struck down kung sino man na may ari ng kiss Asian. And, but then again, they're up again. Pero I'm not sure now. We won't tell. Uh, so, yun yan. <laughs> no? Hindi, parang how, how, how did they survive like that? Ano? And... Uh, paano, kumbaga, parang kasi pag sinabing kiss anime, ah, this is the anime site that people go to pag wala silang pera pang subscribe, which is most of us are, and they only have like internet connections, etc., etc. Uh, they just have to bypass yung parang mga captcha di umano, uh, that, that, that kind of captcha na hindi basta-basta ano, that's, that's the, the next level captcha, I, I, if I may say. Kasi Google has automated captcha na eh. Kung baga parang it, it will just detect kung if will just give you the puzzle kung talagang robot ka sa tingin nila. So, okay. Moving to Marlo. What's your take on this Kiss Anime shutdown? There will be a lot of alternatives that would 
pop up here and there. But that what we have to take note is Japan itself is getting aggressive on protecting their copyright because mm. it it's part of their economic drive. But due to that, nagmalabas yung mga ala, mga problems how to how the how can it can be sustainable and how it can and they have to think a lot of alternatives. Like for example, Paul, they have to be diverse in their licensing. Mm-hmm. as well as their distribution kasi yun naman talaga ang it's one of the factors I, I repeat that's one of the factors not that's not the entire factor so just to lessen the impact of piracy kasi and since they have their own laws to be to be amended by next year the other international laws will also, also apply so it will be another diplomatic hurdle to just to extend like people who host the servers and and all though it's quite possible that you might have an increase in that, that of a uh, crackdowns but it's it will be a long journey na just to get rid of those pirates pirated material kasi, mag, kasi once you shut down one or two platforms I, I think 10 more would rise up somewhere and so and so on. That's a very, it's a cycle actually. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, and that's yes. Um, it kind of it makes sense because kung wala mapanood na anime yung mga tao, they will find any place where they can go to, even the risky ones. Now let's go to Kutsu. What's your take on this kiss anime shutdown? Um, so far, what I think what's going on, what's even worse is they're taking what what I figured out in the past few months then. Is how Kiss Anime always comes out, even kahit ni crackdown ng yari. They would always try to aim um, service providers na wala pang copyright laws in that specific country. Mm-hmm. Uh, to what I know, it's. Ewan ko kung totoo yung sa New Zealand na wala pang ganon. And they even welcome piracy over there. Mm-hmm. That's what I've heard. Kaya, there's this website na nachinek out ko lang kanina lang. Uh, it's called kissanime.nz. So mm-hmm. that website is up, running right now. Uh, it's a New Zealand-based server. I just don't know na paano sila naka-acquire ng ganun. <laughs> and take note, marami yung clones ang kissanime. Not the original, but there are many clones. There are many, and, yeah. Mm-mm. Ang and, query ko lang naman is, so far, maganda naman yung solutions na nakikita ko on how they do the crackdown and paano mo, paano, anong gagawin, na, anong mangyayari pag nawala ng source yung isang tao, what are their mm-hmm. alternatives. So parang, I guess, sana nag-welcome sila ng alternative na you can check out YouTube, meron naman naka-upload doon sa Muse Asia or yung sa anime log, yung mga nangyayari right now. Mm-hmm. Um, sana ang ginagawa nila is besides the takedown they'd also advise ano yung alternatives na lang para that way alam ng tao pag pumunta sa website di ba mm-hmm. at least that would drive the people to know saan sila pupunta and they wouldn't resort to ano na, ano uh, piracy anymore kumbaga mm-hmm. kasi if you talk about the culture of piracy yung yun nga eh kumbaga parang uh, there's this culture of entitlement and all that i think i've mentioned this in one of my uh, pieces before one of my opinion pieces before sa jagoni.xyz but let's go back to doni mm, yung ano uh, since we're at it etong effect na sa mga kapwa mga kapwa tayo anime fans where do we watch there's alternatives pero uh, sometimes you were you will be thinking oh sana ano ano anong, anong data sa anime mga ganun di ba kasi ilan na nang ilan lang naman ng mainstream anime na na sa simulcast to other countries so for example we take this uh, chinese website called iqiyi i don't know if that's the right uh, how uh, how i read it is right but, but they have sword art online alicization up to the latest episode and they also have a uh, rent a girlfriend up to the latest episode kumbaga parang um it's not available in southeast asia to other sources but iki so parang nagtataka ako how are they able to uh, have that license and all that kung do they have the license or they arrange it with other parties kasi iki is a platform eh so um, Donny, where do you watch anime right now? Yung... Uh, ako kasi uh, more on downloads ako eh. Torrent, torrent guy ako eh. Kasi, uh-huh. syempre, gusto ko siyang 
uh, minsan ulit-ulitin kada episode or whatever. Mm-hmm. Pero alam ko kasama yun dun sa First Amendment nung law na Pinas ngayon eh. Mm-hmm. Yung mga file sharing na ano, kasama yung mga leech websites eh. Dun yes. sa ika-crackdown nila eh. Uh-huh. So pagdating ng January 2021, most likely, mawala yun to, to some extent or mababawasan. Baka mamaya hindi na niya that SE, niya that NZ na rin siya. Mm-mm. So ang ang parang pinaka ano ko lang kasi dito is yung Japan nagmo forward sila sa pagka-crackdown ng illegal content. Yun nga lang medyo nalilit sila sa pagsusupply ng content. Mm-mm. Alam niyo yan? kasi oh meron meron sigurong mga ano you can buy through the Blu-ray, the DVDs. Kaso puro puro ano siya eh, mainstream content eh. Usually ang mga ang mga pirated na content is actually maniniwala kayo yung mga Naruto, yung mga yung mga sikat na anime, they're not really as pirated as much as yung mga obscure titles. Yes, yung mga titles. titles. Oh, mga Kasi wala ka talaga makikita noon eh. Mm-hmm. Unless na pumunta ka sa sa, sa piracing site, piracing na site. So ang ang ano, merong ito may na ano lang ako na yung Bandai yata tsaka yung ibang mga anime Uh, publishers, yung mga animation studios, mm-hmm. gagawa sila ng isang YouTube channel to show yung mga content mm-hmm. nila. Yun nga lang kasi, ang, which we go back to the original problem, hindi lahat ng obscure titles, puro mainstream titles lang din ang ilalagay nila dun eh. Mm-hmm. Yun yung problem. So, hindi I think it's mainstream alam, old if, archives kasi other license oh, that they have to show are only license kasi Basically, oh. ilalagay doon is basically yung mga hindi pa inilalicense sa Frontier of Animation, sa Anilog, sa, sa Anime Love, and any licensors out there. But it's a good start kasi it's not, for me, it's not a one big snap that you have to put to a single archive, to a, sing, a single archive, and, and not to mention subbed English or other language available. Hmm. Kasi it's a logistic, it's cost, it, papatong-patong pa yung cost doon and It's a, mm-hmm. it's not just an easy way na sabihin natin ah that people who are watching this show do have to license it another process or another country to, to country you know they have to set their own representative they have to set it so i think what they're doing now to be fair is it's not a solution it's not an alternative to what we have but they are slowly introducing the pieces that they are trying to show more archives available to the public But then again, as I was, as I might have discussed, it's not basically the end of the streaming service, but rather it's just a, a, a small step towards introducing more titles. But we, everyone knows that it's not, it's not, really, it's not easy to introduce all archives simulcast on a, in every location all across the planet. Mm. So. Ang, it's a lot of logistic it's a lot of cost involved and at the same time it's kaya po kaya napapansin natin puro mainstream yung yung mas accessible kasi it, people have uh, had a demand on it and a demand on it and it, we also have to base the, the demand the, the, the audience on the on these foreign lands and might quite possibly quite possibly translation or in other industries the being which is another industry so mm. it's it's really it's it's not people are demanding quick changes of the, of the of the problem which is it's not that easy in my opinion kasi hindi naman yun kailangan ah marami naman nanonood ng sa audio sa buong mundo dapat bigyan nila lang that's not how think mm. how, how licensing works diba Mm-hmm. That's why the piracy bridge does because they ignore the pro- they ignore those borders mm-hmm. which cause people with the licenses not because the studios are are on a different topic in my opinion mm-hmm. but as a distributor again distributor not the ent- that not the entire anime industry itself are having are the ones having a lot of things to do so i think what what um, but i I think if ang pinaka-ideal dyan would be a single monopoly 
like mm-hmm. Sony, for example, Sony owning a lot of libraries all across the world. Because yes. yung mga license nila, you just they can just lease it to every to their subsidiaries mm-hmm. all across the planet. Yun, 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 yun na yun. But if you talk about monopoly, it's not that simple again. Because you you get rid of competition. Mm-hmm. And at the same time, you don't. You mean, naman siya a good solution. My opinion, you say, no, wala ng competitiveness. You're, you're just gonna release something that they make money. So I guess what we need as a fan, I mean, what we need as as to as to assess ourselves is if you if you if you are watching in a, if you can support. Channels that are available to us, for example, in Use Asia and Anime Log in 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 our region, uh-huh. which is very we are very fortunate because it's on YouTube and it's it's free. All you all you have to do is watch an ad or mag YouTube Premium ka na lang, two hundred lang naman yun naman. Uh-huh. So it's a lot. It's very convenient, and people, are, syempre, wala na, and still, and still, people are also watching non. Official sources, because they're not available. But I think the market is slowly turning towards them. Because it's there. Once mm-hmm. it's there, naman slowly but surely, lalapit naman yung tao. Mm-hmm. And I think I can see this in Spotify, ano? Because diba, there's lots of anime tracks nowadays in Spotify. I believe yeah. they, ano? Soon enough, makakarinig ako ng Nana Mizuki soundtrack sa Spotify. And those are the kinds of tracks na mahirap hanapin online, ano? So back to Kutsu, Kutsu. With all these things, of course, there's yun nga, uh, there's that distribution model sa YouTube and with the success of that model, siguro nakita ng Japan ng studios, maybe this can help. What do you think about the anime log thing? My only concern lang is ito ba yung uh, it, this is the studio yung tinatawag na lang anime log where in all the studios are going to be in it. Tama. Most, oh, no, most, no, most, 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 but, most, but not all. So, yeah. We get lucky na makukuha natin doon yung mga obscure titles na medyo, like for example, may mga underrated shows in the mm-hmm. season, ganun. Then mm-hmm. I don't see any problems with it. Mm-hmm. I guess my only concern lang from there is parang, uh, syempre, YouTube is based on giving their profits naman based on sa popularity. So the only issue there is would there be enough um, cash flow for them to earn that? Parang ganun eh. Mm-mm. So I'm pretty sure... Would there be enough ad money, kumbaga? Very limited sa i-release nila sa anime log. Na, let's say, for example, yung mga titles na kumita na sila ng more than they ever need. Mm-mm. Then most likely, yun yung makikita natin muna doon. Pero yung mga obscure titles na nag-gain pa lang ng traction, nag-earn, nag, nun pa lang nag-gain ng profit and all, uh, feeling ko, yun yung mga matagal-tagal pa natin may kita. Mm-mm. Like what I've noticed, parang model niya ng HBO eh, wherein they get the latest movies. Let's say mapapano mo ang Avengers Endgame 2-3 years from now pag pinimir siya sa cinemas. So di ba? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, in my thought, parang ganun din yung mangyayari kasi they have to really gain the traction muna bago nila ma- ma-reap yung profits na o oh nga, dahil sikat yung anime na to, uh, they be able to upload it online sa YouTube, ma-reap nila yung benefits ng views, and then yung ads, then yun. Yun lang yung, my only concern lang talaga is yung obscure titles. Like, how are they gonna be able to put it out there? Yun lang. I guess it's gonna be yung support ng tao towards that platform that would encourage to other studios to follow. So yun. Mm-hmm. Um, in this case naman kasi, um, let's put into example yung Toy Tokusatsu World YouTube channel. They streamed they, uh, older, older, and I mean older titles. Mga, let's say mga 1960s, ganun. Some titles uh, dated mga 1960s, 70s. Some of them are already being uploaded, streamed on the Toy Tokusatsu World YouTube channel. So go, that's one factor na rin, kaya convince yung mga distributors na maybe why not we can show this on YouTube so back to, uh-huh. I'm familiar with that um, the reason why nagagawa nila yon ng walang tama ng copyright is because um, yung mga shows na yan they're already open to the public domain so meaning hmm. 
everyone is free yeah. to get a copy of that, do anything they want with it. Mm-hmm. Actually, yung issue na yan started with public domains. Pansin mo, hawak pa rin ng Disney si Mickey Mouse. Yung mga yes. iconic characters. Yes. It's involved in the public domain. Mm-hmm. Gumawa sila ng loophole we're in, uh, Disney would be able to sue you kung may ginawa ka about sa characters nila. Okay. Ginawa ang negative. You, yeah. So, yeah. yung mga shows na nakikita natin from the 1960s and all, and they're being uploaded on YouTube without any issues, is probably because open na siya sa public domain. So, mm-hmm. there's no reason for copyright owners to earn profit from that. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think that's the 50 plus creator's lifespan rule. Yeah. Uh-oh. So, moving moving back to Donny. So, yun nga, no? we've, gone, we've come to this far na nowadays, dati kasi, di ba, ano, dati kasi I just torrent and all that. Ngayon, parang kung merong snafu, kung origairo sa snafu, uh, meron din sa IKE. That's a thing. <laughs> so, doon na lang ako manonood. Parang, di ba, uh, there's yeah. a choice. We just still stick with torrents. For, uh, if, if you are one watching para mga obscure titles, if all of these actually, obscure titles are already distributed through legal means. Actually, kung meron silang mapoprovide na yung easily accessible na legal means to watch, why hmm. not? Kasi, Para sa akin, may trabaho naman ako so I can afford. Ang mm-hmm. problema is yung mga walang trabaho. At uh-huh. yung wala talaga, I cannot afford yung ano. Uh, I, I cannot find a solution for them. Pero talagang kung meron lang silang may offer na parang legitimate na yung easy access na makakapanood ka ng anime, I think people, people would support it eh. Mm-hmm. Ang problema kasi, uh, balik tayo doon sa mga obscure titles tsaka yung mga ano. I'm not sure if meron talagang subtitle na sila yan or dub. Mm. Dub siguro pagka na-license yan uh, outside Japan. Pero yung subtitles, uh, yung mga fan subs kasi, hindi naman, nila, hindi naman nila pwedeng kunin yung subtitle ng fan subs eh. Tapos isalpak nila sa official na, na anime, tapos oh, oh. release nila as official license. Good. Oh, oh. I, I think hindi nila gagawin yun. They, they Kaya sobrang tagal, sobrang magiging matagal ang pag-turn out ng mga, ng mga obscure anime titles. Pero wala tayong choice eh. We, we just need to wait na maglabas sila ng mga ganon. Kaya yung, kasi nandito tayo sa awkward point ng transition eh. Mm-mm. Yung transition natin from from get anywhere you can na anime to moving to a legitimate uh, platform so you can watch for subscription or whatever. Uh, Diyan sila magkakaroon ng napakalaking backlog. Mm-hmm. Dahil halimbawa, uh, ano bang obscure title na hindi talaga kilala ng ano? There's diba, a fishing yung, anime. The fishing uh, Seven anime. Eyes. Seven Eyes. Na, 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 Seven Eyes. Na, 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 lumabas yung episode, meron na siyang subtitle. Mm-mm. Actually, yun ang magiging napakahirap na transition natin for for paid, ano eh, for paid subscription eh. Is yung mga titles eh. Kasi madali yung, ano eh, madali yung mga, ano na yan eh, yung mga, mga mainstream eh. Kasi usually, yung mga ganyang mainstream anime is licensed outside, the, outside Japan. So, nakakuha sila ng talent to dub it out or makakuha sila ng talagang hired people to to make the subs. Pero y- yung transition natin sa ganun, yun yung mahirap. Kasi unless na you learn Japanese talaga, eh, hindi mo talaga maiintindihan yung ano eh. Hindi mo talaga maiintindihan yung anime eh. Hindi, hindi, hindi mo siya masusundan. Hindi mo malalaman kung ano yung pinag-uusapan nila. Kahit sobrang galing mo sa context plus eh, na nangyayari. Hindi mo talaga siya masusundan as it is intended. Mm-mm. So, so that yung... Hell, Sige, go, go, go. So, yun yung, yun yung main problem natin eh. Ako, tatanungin mo if mag-torrent pa ako. Ako, kung, 
kung yung pinapanood ko is nandun sa legal na ano, legal na mean, manunod doon ako manunood. Kasi alam alam ko legal yun eh. Tsaka parang support na rin doon sa industry although sabi nila wala pa rin daw epekto yun doon sa mga animator na nagihirap. The middle man thing eh. The middle man thing. Kahit pag anong support ang gawin mo, it will not make a difference in their lives. Pero, yun yung, yun yung ano eh. Kung ano yung legal, doon ka. Pero kasi, kung yung papanoorin ko, wala doon sa legal, anong choice ko? Siyempre, I'll stick, maghahanap ako ng paraan para manood. Ano ba ba? Ah, Merong, ngayong season, hmm. ano yung pinaka-obscure na title na sa tingin mo eh hindi malalicense outside uh, Japan? Yung ReZero, alam ko, ma- ReZero, maano yan? Hmm. Yung, uh, Miss yeah, Fate or, at Miss yeah. Academy, for sure. Ah, yung ano yung, oh. basta yung Academy something, oo, oh, yan. Yung Maugakwen oh. Futegi Kosha, ayun, oh, palagay oh. ko hindi lalabas yun eh. Pero ano ba, I think nasa Ani Plus siya ngayon, Ani Plus Asia. It's on cable na, lah. Nasa, na, nasa Ani Plus Asia siya. Oh good kung nandun siya. Si Uh-oh. Peter Grill. Si Peter Grill. Peter Grill. Yung, yung, alam yung questionable content na yon ni Peter Grill. Mm-hmm. Na almost borderline hentai na siya. Sa so, wow. tingin mo ilalabas yun, ilalabas yun ng legal, ano, legal site? Tanong natin sa kapitbahay na interspecies reviewers. Baka matanong yan. Baka masagot nila yan. Kasi oh. diba, yung I can't believe it's not hentai, scrap ni Panimation after a few episodes. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, sc- ano, tapos tinapos ang distribution after a few episodes. So hindi, in the US, if you're sticking with Panimation, hindi natapos yan. Oh, you have diba? to find it somewhere else. Because it's, you just can't believe it's not hentai. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> nila, nila kaya ilabas yan. Ang dami natin yan, mahuga ko and... Uh, masugo ako yun pala. Hindi, hindi. Maso, talagang oh, borderline. Oh, oh. Hindi lalabas yan sa li- legitimate. Ano? Uh-huh. Unless mag-create sila ng, ano, dyan, ha, ng separate na classification na you're 18 or above before you can oh, watch oh. this or whatever. Pero yeah. kung uunahin ba ng Japan yun kaysa dun sa mga wide uh, pwedeng mapanood ng mas maraming tao? I, I, I don't think so. Kasi usually nagkakaroon lang naman ng English dub or English sub, if merong enough interest in the West to get them from the East. Diba? Mm-hmm. Alam mo, ay ang rental girlfriend para, niya, I'm sure uh, magkakaroon may, niya ng, ano, para, ng English version. Oh, they, are step, they are stepping up. Uh, I think, up. Uh, oh, I think by, by September 4 to 6 sa Crunchyroll Expo, they will have Aoyuki. So, definitely, baka si Crunchyroll ang mag-release niya ng... Uh, Nang, oh, so ano, usually si Crunchyroll. Pero, Actually, may subscription. May, do, do they have a dub sa Crunchyroll? No. Alam ko, subtitle sila. Subtitle, 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 subtitle sila. sila. So, baka mapunta sa funny yan. It's either funny or funny canyon. Ano. Yun. May subscription ako sa Crunchyroll. Mm-hmm. <laughs> may subscription ako so, sa Crunchyroll. Pero, alam mo yun, hindi naman title. lahat na papanood ko sa Crunchyroll eh. Mm-hmm. Last time I checked the Crunchyroll lineup, um, Boruto lang yun nandun sa lineup na ano. As a non-subscriber, I can only see Boruto in the Philippines. Which is sad. No. Hindi tayo ang target market Kapa, nila. Y- yung yung Netflix natin. Netflix mm-hmm. natin. May anime, may anime ba sa Netflix Philippines? Meron, meron. Marami, marami. Meron. Yun. Marami? Kasi, ka, oh, na, nakaka-catch up na sila. Pero Violet pagka nag, ano ba, nag-VPN ka papunta sa mga ibang bansa, sobrang dami sa ibang bansa compared dito sa sa Pilipinas na Netflix. Pero it's good na nag step up na yung Netflix to acquire more anime titles under the, their belt dito sa Philippine side. Mm-hmm. Siguro, siguro, we just need to give time dun sa mga legitimate outlets to acquire licenses or whatever rights they can so they can show the anime dito sa Pilipinas yes. for our yung local subscription natin. Pero yun nga, ako meron akong, oh, nasabi ko meron akong, may ano rin ako sa Netflix, mayroon din ako sa Crunchyroll. So meron akong mga legitimate sources ng anime. Pagka yung anime na gusto kong panoorin is wala doon, doon tayo nagkaka-problema kasi we're forced to go to our best friend niya that is I. <laughs> Oo. Ayan. I, I wish I could have given, I wish I could have more time, ano? pero at the last four minutes of this discussion, um, I'll go to Marlo to say his parting words. Uh, what can you make up about this? One minute. Well, it's not the end of uh, Pirates of 
of nya anime streaming whatever whatever the fuck we are doing actually because mm-hmm. once the news nag release everyone's panicking so it's not, it's a quite it's very nonsense eh. mm-hmm. so you, you can still watch hindi hindi ka aarestuhin ng ng PNP pag nanonood ka ng, ng stream according even to according to some people but expect some a lot of takedowns but you have a lot of sources so you'll be fine and you yeah, you can expect a lot of legitimate sources to have more art more libraries in the anime even simulcast like in, like Views Asia and even Netflix have a 3 day episode or even anyone okay yeah even Netflix here are great kind of competitive kasi sayo ang may 3 ep- episode delay lang ang Fire Force season to sa Netflix mm-hmm. even Kaguya last season kahit 3 day 3 3 3 episode delay it's still It feels like you're watching like in Japan with 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 subs. So yeah, you have to expect a lot of good things here from here. So y- you should be okay. optimistic about it. Mm-mm. Time. Okay, good so. Well, I just hope that in the near future, uh whatever the uh, the rest of the world is getting, sana makuha rin ng Southeast Asia. Yes. Because I mean, I guess what I think, I just hope na sana ma-figure out ng studios how are they gonna monetize the people of Southeast Asia to put out their content here. Kasi yun lang yung nagiging challenge right now is how they're gonna make money out from the people na they would know na baka i-pirate nila yung shows, ganun. Mm-hmm. So I hope mm-hmm. that they find something profitable for them that would work mm-hmm. for us. All right, Thank you very much, Kutsu. Donny, parting words. Uh, para doon sa mga nag-aalala kung mawawala yung pirate, piracy sites na ano, I think it will take a longer time. Hindi siya immediate na mawawala na next year wala na talaga na lahat. May mga magsusurvive dyan kasi maraming loopholes. Pero sana, hindi sa binibigyan ko ng pag-asa, sana itong mga period na to, like na nagtatransition yung anime companies na mag-produce ng legitimate uh, mode of dis- distribution ng mga anime. Sana tayo din little by little maghanap na rin tayo ng ano ng uh, paraan so we can enjoy our anime legitimately. Mm-mm. Yun right. So with that thank you very much to our guests Marlo Barcelian of Anime Corner, our consultant is Akip Six, si Geoffrey Kutsukawa and uh, Chisu Studios Donny Medina and with that said Uh, my parting words for everyone is that uh, we will get used to it. Like how I get used to listening to Spotify, uh, how I get used to watching Muse Asia or anyone in Hong Kong. They already some some titles already have English subs, and if we get to see yung kanilang mga titles is parang oh there are some obscure titles here. So go check out your YouTube channel Muse Asia anyone, and then go check out Spotify for the latest tracks. Again, we will get used to this. Trust me. That wraps up another episode of Keepsakes, the podcast. No episodes can be heard at anchor.fm slash keepsakes, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, and Spotify. Don't forget to visit me on social media for updates. Facebook.com slash keepsakesbyj, Twitter at jayagonoy, YouTube.com slash jayagonoy, and my blog at jayagonoy.xyz. I hope you enjoyed listening to this podcast. Until next time.